Hi, I'm Dean Frederick. I'm the principal at Alpha Academy, a high school of choice here at Magnolia ISD. It is my pleasure to come to you today to talk about the most noble profession that I know of, and that is teaching. As the title says, why teach? Is it worth the headache? I'd like to suggest to you today seven things that effective teachers do every day. First of all, it is preparing. That means that we are prepared every day with a detailed lesson plans that addresses a variety of needs in our students, also addresses a variety of learning styles of our students. A new topic, new plan every day. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Respect. That means you have respect to every student who comes into your classroom. That means you're going to remain professional throughout the day. Remember, you are the adult and students look at you in terms of that. You are the adult. Smile. Express a positive attitude. No matter what you're going through that day, that is always going to set the tone for your classroom. Greet your students every day at the, at the door. Make sure you're doing that. It creates a welcoming feeling for your classroom. Teachers, we're great actors. Our professionalism is beyond reproach. Focus on the task at hand. That is teaching your students, every student. Make those difficult subjects interesting, from math to science to ELA to social studies, even elective. Those difficult subjects need to be interesting and engaging to our students. Composure, it is necessary. That decreases the stress level. Remain calm in those difficult situations. When that student is being competitive, make sure you are, again, modeling that behavior that you want to see in your students. Rely on those social skills that you've learned throughout the years. And especially rely on your professional skills as well. Expectations instead of rules, they should be clear and concise. They need to be consistent throughout the day. From day one, you need to communicate those expectations not only to your students, but communicate to your parents as well. What is expected when they come into your classroom? What is expected when they leave the classroom? I think it's very important to do that. Also teaching, bell to bell, there should be no lulls. Again, that goes back to the preparation, the planning, that you have no lulls in those particular days. That active classroom is the engaging classrooms. Your students will benefit from it. As a professional teacher, we know for a fact that there are teachers who are categorized, I say, in one, two, and three. A one teacher is the one who's the most negative person that you'll meet in the hallway. Every time you see them, whether it's morning or in the afternoon, there's a negative comment coming from them. The two teacher is the one who sits in between. They don't know whether to lean towards the one or the three. And the number three teacher is the one who just is a go-getter. They're effective in everything that they do. Their students love them always in everything that you endeavor to do as a teacher, become a three. Have a great school year and I wish you all the best with all our students.